Hi, I'm Christian Guzman, and I approve of the Board Shorts and Banter podcast. Oh, baby. Ooh. Hi, Tom. Hello, Josh. How are we? Oh, oh mate, I'm, I'm, I'm amazing. How are you? Um, it's been one of those days, mate. Just Has long. It? Busy. Do you know what yeah. I mean? But like... It feels like it's busy, but it's not because it's one of those days where I just can't focus. Right. Do you know what I mean? Just like brain fog. You go to do stuff and it's just like, it feels like it takes forever. And then it's like, yeah. So I feel like I haven't got a lot done, but I feel like, I feel like for how I feel today, it's a lot, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm getting better than me. How are you? I, I'm all right. I'm all right. I didn't sleep very well last night. Um, I think, I think there's a reason behind that, which we'll discuss in today's podcast which I've, mm. I've not i've not mentioned to you um j- just a just a little insight guys uh when me and tom record these podcasts i try not to speak to tom until we press record on here so we've got loads of things to talk about but yeah one of the topics that i want to talk about today mate is going out on the piss properly properly mm. for the first time in a while that's what you did last night. I, I did it on Saturday, and it's Wednesday today. Is it Wednesday? Is it Tuesday? Right, uh, mate. It's Tuesday. <laughs> Tuesday. Great. Great. You went out on Saturday. I went out on Saturday. It's Tuesday today, and I'm still heavily affected. How was it? Was it good? Yeah, mate. We're good. It was good. We just did like a few pubs, but it was like the late night and not eating right, and then trying to just slot back into the normal routine of of life of my life and it's just been it's just been tougher than what it used to be what what do you feel like has been like affected the most do you just do you still feel like crap do you just feel like you can't get your food down like what's what's the situation i would say my appetite has been affected i would say um like right now i'm pretty tired yeah. um getting up in the morning's been a little bit tougher but I just feel like I'm in a bit of a sleep deficit from one late night. Do you know what I mean? Mm, where did you go? Thing is, though, <clears throat> I don't think there's anything wrong with it as long as it's a good night, man. Like yeah. if you go out and you get wrecked and it's just not even good, like ugh, it's just, it's just, it's just not good. But where did you go? So, um, my my lovely girlfriend went out for food with one of our <laughs> mates, and um, and just basically went and met him in a pub um, on Saturday night at like ten o'clock. And I like started drinking at 10 o'clock. I'm not going to lie. It only took me four drinks to feel pretty drunk. Um, but yeah, I just didn't get home till what, half one and then had a McDonald's. Nothing, nothing, mate. I tell you what, nothing good happens after 1 a.m. Nothing good. I Do you think, know what I mean? I think the actual, the actual saying is 2 a.m. But is it 2 a.m.? I think it is. Yeah. Did, hey, did you ever used to watch How I Met Your Mother? No. Oh, it's a good TV show. Highly recommend it uh, for the listeners as well. Good, good lessons to be learned in that TV series. I'm a, um, I'm a one AM, mate. I'm not a two. AM. You're, you're hardcore, mate. You, you yeah. did half one, so yeah, quite near. yeah, yeah. Let's say a half one, just for you and me. Um, yeah, yeah. So ate McDonald's. Um, did not digest well at all. I think I went to the toilet about fifteen times on Sunday. Um, yeah, yeah. Just been good. Mate, it ah, oh, I used to drink every weekend when I was younger. Like every single weekend, I used to drink. Uh, like when I was like sixteen, I used to have a friend called House Party Will. We literally called him House Party Will. House and Party just Will. around there every single week drinking three bottle three three bottles of cider. Do you remember we used to get three for a fiver? No, 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 no. In Rotherham, mate, we just nick them. Oh, fair play. Yeah, that's even better. Oh. That was good. This is uh, what's this? What's this again? Is this an uh, Erdinger? Well done. He's learning. Is this? Did they, so? Hang on. You said this and that. Did they actually send you pints? Yes, they sent me. Uh, I want to say it was like 24, 25 cans of of this stuff. <laughs> That's so sick. I've recently asked them for more. <laughs> Mate, please be the first fitness person ever. Spon- no, I, I, that's that's dumb. First person, you would be the first person in bodybuilding, surely, sponsored by a by a beer alcohol company. company. Yeah, that would be sick. That would be so cool. 
So yeah, cool. like when you, when you just compete right, your board shorts are just like the same color as that can. And then they have like, yeah. <laughs> For anyone that can't see, Josh is comparing the can to a stage photo where he's wearing pretty much the same color shorts. But no, that'd be sick. Or the shorts could literally just be like the same color as a pint, like that, that yeah, like yeah, yeah, color. Yeah. That. Oh, like the top of the shorts, white. White. And then the, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Yes, amazing. <laughs> oh, Gerald Alavazo, get on it, mate. Or Ryan Terry, because I know you listen to to the podcast. You, get on it, get on it, boys. Make it happen. I think Gerald can actually do custom shorts like that. I know, dude. I know Chula. I believe you can pay probably like stupid money to get custom printed shorts. I'm. I. I. I when's your birthday? Fourth of May. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if I'm wearing them for like 18 months. Next year, next year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But by the time I've ordered them from the US, mate, they might land in time yeah, for 2025 season. True. Yeah, true. Uh, when was the last time that you went on a proper night out? Was it your client meetup? Or have you have you done have you done one since? Or um, probably <sighs> no. Nah, client meetup was we had we had like, like a good few drinks. To be fair, mate, I had like I think I drank like five double spiced rum and cokes doubles. And then like f- two or three pints, and I, I was pretty, I was, I was drunk, but I wasn't like, you know, wild. Yeah. If you know what oh, I'm saying. Yeah. Um, I was a little bit hungover the day after that, though. Mm. Do you know? So it's like, but I'd say my last night out, like proper full send, was just before prep. I'd say like a few, a few weeks before, because obviously I don't want to start prep. Feeling. When was when was the last time that you threw up from drinking? I've never thrown up from drinking. Oh, you're so you're so cool, Tom. I, I don't have a gag reflex. <laughs> oh, oh, that's why we get on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> um, but no, I've honestly, I've that's one thing I've never had. Like, never like, I never throw up from drinking. I'm guessing you're you do. I've I've done it a few times, but I, I did do it last summer. Um, was it last summer? Might have been like March time. I could imagine um, you just having too much fun on holiday. <laughs> yeah, yeah, mate. Just, just that's just me. You know, every time I go on holiday, I just throw up. You know. <laughs> no. Get so when mood. when was the last time you threw up? Then. Um, so this is riveting chat. I know. Um, I went on a night out with Annabella again and her sister, and I think yeah, I, I drank tequila. I drank like, like, there's a place in Sheffield called Corporation. And if you're obviously from Sheffield or been to Sheffield, you'll know about Corp. It's it's very good. And they do these pints. So it's literally vodka and then some random mixer with fuckloads of food color in it. Nice. And they used to do like blue pints, red pints, white pints, orange pints. And basically you do the rainbow challenge. So how many right. of the rainbow can you drink? And I, I had like three of these and then some tequila and then that were it. I was chundering. But one of the most memorable <laughs> bits about me being poorly, we got home and I was like, I'm going to be poorly. I'm going to try and make myself as well as possible in the next five minutes before it happens. So you ever had support max joint from strom <laughs> it's bright orange <laughs> yeah so i had that so the that. powder so Good. i put Correct. that into a shaker put support max neuro in glut- glutathione creatine just whammed it all in necked it and then literally as soon as it went down i was like mm, straight <laughs> back up and then that was me for like the next hour just Chundering, and it were all bright orange. Oh my god! Did, like, have, you ever, have, you, have you got like in the toilet, and not anywhere else? Because that stuff stains. Like, yeah, so um, bad. Yeah, might have been on the sofa. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> Where was this? Was this at your your place? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Did you have to get a new sofa? No, 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 no. Annabelle was the same one. Yeah, sorted. Is it le- is it leather or is it fabric? It's fabric. It's grey. Oh, oh, God. Yeah, I know. Bright orange chunder. Mate, Good that's not ideal. Is, um, I can imagine Annabelle is like a bit of a dark horse. I bet she could drink. No, she can't. What, what's her drink of choice? Aperol spirits. Mm. Or champagne. Okay, okay. She's a refined yeah. lady. 
Oh, mate, she's very refined. I Just like, like I am. That's why we get on. That's why I'm so, here. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like so match refined. made in heaven. <laughs> so refined, mate. Um, anyway, quick interlude. BSB15 for discount off of your all-in garms. We have a brand... When's the next launch? Um, end of Feb, I believe. End of Feb. So a little bit of a wait. And the last one is gone already. I would tell you to go check out the last launch. Yeah. But it's gone. So this is going to be a recurring theme. If you don't know All In, it sells out. But next time, end of Feb, BSB 15. Yeah. Uh, also, the next we... one, the, the next launch, we, we've already seen it. You guys haven't. And it's it's fresh. It's clean. And it's almost like, I'm not sure whether I'd wear it to the gym or wear it out. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It, it just looks, it looks like you could do both. Yeah. I'm, oh, I've got this dilemma, mate, where it's like, I've got so many nice all in pieces now. Right. I'm like, I can wear this to dinner. Can't I? Even though it's got bodybuilding across the back. And I'm like, Hmm. Is that a vibe? I don't really know. It depends who you're going out for dinner with. Yeah. I think, I think, I think, I think they should do an all in dinner range. Yes. Yes. Do you know when we have our collaboration line? It's going to be the night out. <laughs> night out line. line. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. I like All it. All in. All out. Yes. How's, um? so apart from obviously uh, destroying yourself the other night. Yeah. At least you had a good one. Uh, how's training that been, mate? How's uh, the off season since coming back from holiday? Obviously, I know you came back slightly heavier. But how have things been since then? Is it going well? Yeah, mate, going well. Um, my weight has come down. I'm chilling at around eighty-five and a half kilos, and I'm, I'm kind of like happy where how I'm looking. Yeah, I don't really want to go any lighter. I don't really want to just jump straight back into a mad surplus. But you know, I feel like everything's progressing. I trained with. Um, did I mention it last week on the podcast? I don't think I did. Oh, Alex- well, I saw it on your Instagram. Is it the guy that originally coached you? Oh, no, no. Oh, so I trained with two people last week. The first one was a Spanish WMBF pro, um, Alex Barrio. We need to get him on. We need to get him on. He's such a cool guy. He's he's like us, but Spanish. Just So just better looking in a sexier voice. I wouldn't even say that, but he did teach me a few <laughs> like Spanish um, words. Okay. Yeah. No. Which he, that's <laughs> Mexican, isn't it? Uh, I have I have no idea. Uh, he, he said this thing called pumping barros, where it's like where you where you get a pump in your arms and it fills your sleeves. It's where you go, oh, pumping barros. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. You have to watch the video when it comes out. So it's, uh, I'd like to think it's quite entertaining. But yeah, I trained with him last week and he's like peak of his off season. And um, I don't want to say I smoked him. You are strong though. I, I I underestimate how strong I am. I, I like started off by saying, "Look, mate, I'm still building up. I don't really, I don't really know where I'm at in strength wise compared to like my peak." Um, but I bent over road one forty for ten or ten or eleven reps. Fucking hell! And it like flew. And he, he like, said yeah, to me, was, like, "Was it a yeah, buddy?" No, he wanted me to go more. Yeah, buddy. All right. Um, so yeah, I'd say training's going really well. I've obviously fucked myself at the weekend. So the one session that I've done this week wasn't the greatest, but it wasn't terrible either. So we'll move with it. We roll. So how much weight have you come back down? Uh, about four kilos I've dropped. Fuck. See, like, that's not all fat that you've lost. No, no. You know, Uh, probably like a good, in all honesty, probably like a good, like two and a half kg of that is, is like water weight and then like a kilo and a half of fat. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. Uh, but I thought that as soon as I came home, there were no point in panicking and being like, oh, I'm going to go and do 15,000 steps a day. Just keep you cool. Just get back onto routine. Follow the plan that you were following before you went away and just just don't stress. No, it's like the white, chi- the, the white chick scene where she's like trying on all the clothes and she's like, Tina the talking tummy. <laughs> she's like, do you, know, do you remember that? White chicks. Is that the one with Terry Crews? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They go to like the uh, they go to like the 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 like dress store or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. And she's like grabbing her stomach. That was you, mate. And do you know that meme with like the the guy that sat at the computer and the room's just on fire? Like, I'm fine. This is fine. Yeah. yeah, that that was that was me. That was me. How have you been, mate? Give it. Give everyone an update. I'm broken. 
Why? What? What have you done, Tom? I've no. So right, I've got this theory. It's not even a theory. I think it's true. I have tweaked my um, levator scap scap your, your labia, something like something like that, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Your labia. Anyway, uh, muscle at the top of your scapula that runs into your neck. I tweaked it literally this time last year. In the cold, in the winter, when things get like a, you know, you're not getting like warmed up and whatnot. I tweaked it. Just had a client tweak the exact same area. Had a guy on Instagram message me. He's just tweaked that same area as well. I've got a theory. It is the weather. Can I tell you something? What? I may have tweaked that same area. <laughs> you haven't? Yeah. When? Training it and doing 140 rows. Yeah, so I was carrying like f- like forty seven point five kg dumbbells. I was re racking them. It's always when you're like doing something. Oh, like you've it. literally done it like innocuous, like no reason for you to do it. No, so like I was, I I pulled dumbbells off of a rack, and I felt like a little ping in yeah. like the top of my scapula. And I was like, ooh, so that's that feels a bit different. And then basically since then, um, it's just like debilitated me. It's better now. Like I can actually move my head a little bit towards that yeah. way. It's a little bit sore, but yeah. I'm broken at the moment. Have I, have I told you about the S-shapes? I think I've mentioned it before on the podcast. The S-shaped, like, back massager. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get, get one of them, mate. Mine's, mine's sorted. Mm. Um, but definitely, that'll be the best £20 that you spend ever. I think I've seen them before. It's got, like, a ball on the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got a few balls on it. it so you can, like, properly dig in and, like, I like getting, like, in my shoulder joint. It's It's really good. Nice. I'm gonna send me send me an Amazon affiliate link, mate, so you get like a like twenty p or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. Commission. I've started doing that. Have you? Yeah. You don't get a lot, do you? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> but I've got I've I've got one, and it's like yes, pay out, and it's like four pounds. Yeah. For like a month. I'm like yes. Loaded. Yeah, I think I got uh, one pound twelve p or something. Uh, that's not. That's pretty good, mate. Keep keep that up. Yeah. Bit of small things turn into <laughs> That's what Jeff Bezos keeps telling me. Yeah, 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 yeah. So Jeff, Jeff, Jeff's crap. made like fifty quid. You've made like, you know, one pound two P. Yeah. Love it. Um but no, yeah, so I'm currently on the road to recovery. I tweaked that same muscle that I tweaked last year. It was a lot worse than last year though. But training itself, mate, is flying. Like absolutely flying, which is good. And because I've been now like eighty one point five kg for the past like three weeks, it's just like held, it's like fluctuating. But um, I'm actually waking up in the morning now, and I've actually got like abs almost again, which is good. So I think we're recomping a little bit. So yeah, it's going yeah, really well. Yeah. Um, just today though, I felt like, do you know, like when you're trying to figure out the difference between manageable fatigue. And like fatigue, that is like detrimental. So it's like if you are training hard, right, and you're trying to fucking build muscle, you're training, you go, you're not going to feel like a fresh daisy all the time. You're going to feel like pretty, like shit some days. You're going to wake up, you're going to be sore, but you still go to the gym and do your thing. Versus now, I'm just like, don't really want to train at all. I've got a few little niggles and injuries, and I just feel a little bit like shit. So I'm just, I'm just taking today off, mate. Fair enough. Yeah. I, w- I would do that. Yeah, just not training. And tomorrow, I'll see how I feel tomorrow, but I'll probably take tomorrow off as well. Yeah. See, see, if I was you now, I would just stop training altogether and go and do a different sport. Yeah, yeah. I might, yeah. to be honest with you, mate, I might just like take up golf. After our, after our last last podcast, mate, I just feel so inspired. Yeah. PGA. I'm going on that tour, mate. Should we both just quit and yeah. work towards Guys, PGA? Guys, welcome to the Golf Swinging and Banter podcast. <laughs> Mate, golf is just banter. Yeah. We could literally just call the podcast banter and that's it. And then just talk about golf. Yeah. yeah. Now golf shit. Never gonna get better. Apart from that though, mate, what what else is going on in life at the moment? Um any more developments? Any more developments? Um I I'll, I'll, this weekend, so besides me getting pissed, um I went and met up I went to Ultraflex Durham. Is that the latest one? That no, Ultraflex Derby is the latest Derby. one. Right. So Durham, is, I think they've been part of the Ultraflex like brand for like maybe two, three years now. Um, went and trained with the first ever person that coached me <sighs> back in 2019, and admitted he only coached me for about six weeks, but we won the show that we went in for. 
He did it for free, and I've kept okay. in touch with him ever since. So the it, it, it was almost like meeting a friend that I've like I've known for ages, but just mm. never met him in the flesh. It were it was just lovely. A guy called Brad Wilson, or at it is Brad on on Instagram. Um, some people might remember him because back in the day, like five years ago, he was pretty big on social media, like 20 odd thousand followers, sponsored by my protein. And since then, and you know, like with COVID and everything, he's just had a bit of a different journey to what I've had. So I think it'll be worth him getting on the podcast at some point. But yeah, I went to train Is with he, him. Did he used to compete and whatnot? Yeah, he did UK the FBA. He won the. Um, Scottish Open or something with the UK the yeah. FBA. Uh, men's physique. So, you know, he, he meets the criteria for coming on the podcast. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, it's crazy that the UK the FBA used to have like a whole Scottish... They used to, well, there was, how many Scottish shows did he have? Just one? I have no idea, mate. I th- I, I'm not sure if it was just one. Chris Rendell did it. Yeah. Did he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, That's, mate, that Chris, Chris put a photo today of like cut one, cut six of like, you know, his dieting phase. Mate, the dude was jacked Back way back when, yeah, he's a beast. He's very good. He's very good. He is good. Um, yeah, so we'll have to get Brad on the podcast to discuss his journey because uh, he's he's quite an entertaining chap as well. Does he? Um, is he an online coach still now? He's he's kind of getting back into the game. Um, oh. Yeah, he basically in lockdown he gained a hundred pounds. Wow. Yeah, and fucked off training. But that is a fucking comeback story and a half. Yeah, yeah. And now he's competing in May. Um, wow, that show. is so, that made us sick. Yeah, very cool. I love. Uh, well, I'm gonna have to shoot my follow now. Just follow the journey. Yeah, you got you got to do it. You got to be done. Um, yeah. So did that. That was fun. That was nice. Uh, I've not got anything exciting happening this week, which I'm very glad about because I've just got so much crap to do. Uh, yeah. Yeah, any 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 plans for like the YouTube series or anything? Um off season. Yeah, oh, mate, off season YouTube series has already started. Hey, when this podcast goes live tonight, my Seattle Worlds vlog, the grand finale goes live. So this goes for you Tom and the rest of the listeners. Go and show it some love because it's took me absolutely ages to edit it. You've edited it yourself. Of course I've mate. What the was Sam was Sam there for this one? No. He wasn't, was he? No. So it's mine and Annabella's vlog. <clears throat> There's some entertainment in it, right? I'll I'll give you a little spoiler. Um Do you know like when you go on Instagram or TikTok or whatever and you see people that like go to a coffee shop or something for the day mm. and they like make these really cheesy like one minute vlogs. Yeah, yeah. I basically did that for a coffee shop and it's the most sarcastic thing that I've ever done in my life. <laughs> I love that. Well, yeah. so it goes out, when's it out? It's out on Wednesday today. Yeah, Wednesday. Listen 7 to p.m. this. 6 p.m. 7 p.m. 7 p.m. Mate, these people are spoiled, man. I know. And you know as well, right? We put so much effort into this. Absolutely. I, I hope that people appreciate it. It's literally zero effort. <laughs> Just sit down, have a chat. Yeah, that's what it's all about. And then press upload. Do you know what I need to do? I need to come up to Sheffield. Not to move, right? Nothing hasty. Slow down. Um, I just, I just want to come up and check it out. Mate, I've never even been to Ultraflex Rotherham. I want to go to Ultraflex Derby. I want to go to the super sick gym that you train out of. I Mate, you can out, come up mate. whenever you want. I'm going to stay... On your sofa for about a month. Is that right? Why would you want to stay on the sofa? Just, just like in the sick pile. Is that all right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can, so you I can, can be just close laying now. Just so I can be nice and close to you, yeah? Yeah. I was going to say you could either, like Annabella could, well, she would happily sleep in the spare room so that we can share a bed together. Or you could oh. just sleep in the spare room so that you've not, well, you're not going to break your back even more. I know I've got no gag flea reflex, mate, but just slow down, right? <laughs> yeah, you are going to move to Sheffield, I'm certain. <laughs> as soon as I said that, you're like, no, you're moving to Sheffield. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're going to just need to pack your car up, come for the weekend and stay. Oh, love it. Nah, but I do want to check it out. 
I do want to check it out. I said to my dad, I was like, shall I just move to Sheffield? He's like, Sheffield? Oh, that's a shithole. <laughs> What's your dad called? <laughs> I'm not going to tell you that, mate. Darren. John. John. Big John. Big John. <laughs> Big John Stockton. Big John, John, I am talking to you now. The people of Sheffield are the finest people in the world. Has it, has it got as bad, like any city? Or... Mate, yeah. The, yeah. the bad areas are bad. Are they? Yeah. I'll take you to them if you want. Yeah, mum, you got you got to have the rough of the smooth, don't you? you yeah, yeah. Oh, there's loads. My mind's my mind's racing now. We'll go to all the rough areas. What is the worst area of uh, Sheffield? A place called Manor Top. That's pretty bad. There's a place called Spittle Hill. That's pretty bad. What? Why would you call it that? Yeah, I know. Spittle. Like there's sp- a there's a place that I drive through. That's like a shortcut for me to get home. And I'm not even joking. There's prostitutes there during the day. Wow. And there's this one There's this one that me and Annabella see all the time. We go, oh, there she is again. Hello. Do you wave? Some, no, no, never wave. Wave at that. <laughs> Hello. Do you want some business? <laughs> <laughs> she yeah. looks scary. Oh, mate, I can imagine. She's probably got no teeth. Probably not a bad thing, to be honest. <laughs> Should we move on? <laughs> yeah, let's move on. Tom, yeah. have you paid your tax bill? Uh, yeah, I have. Good boy, good boy. Um, well, the day that this podcast goes live is the uh, self-employed take tax the deadline day. Isn't it? You are self-assessment. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, yeah. um, if you've not done that, then do that. And if you have done that, and you've realised, or you've done it yourself, and you've realised how stressful that process is. Make sure next time it comes round that you actually get an accountant to do it. I know a good accountant. My girlfriend. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Just it's fine, mate. You can you can plug her. It's fine. Oh, All great. Right? I'll plug her. Um, yeah, so if you are needing an accountant for next year's tax return or you just want some advice on your finances, I recommend you go to Strivex. Yes. Strivex. You'll be able to find them by searching on Instagram. But if you want, you can just DM me and I'll send you a I'll send you a link. Coach coach accounts are pretty good as well. That's, yeah, yeah, but Strivex are better. Strivex better. My, my my accountant Logan is probably listening to this right now. Hi, yeah. hi Logan. Hi Logan. <laughs> hi Logan. How's it feel to not be as good as Strivex? <laughs> it's fine, bro. <laughs> you get them on and just have like have it out. Yeah. Shall we? <laughs> Annabella's boss is on this morning tomorrow. Why? I don't know. I think she's filling in for Philip Schofield. (laughs) No, come on. (laughs) (laughs) No, it's it's just talking about finance and all that kind of stuff. You don't see coach accounts doing that though, do you? Let's be honest. To be fair, no, slacking. Slacking big time. Should we... um... I feel like this this podcast is literally just it's just us having a chat, mate. Like I really feel sorry for the listeners that are actually tuning in right now. Shall we get some questions on the go? Yeah, let's do that. I think that's a brilliant idea, personally. Yeah, we both got we both did a questions box because we're super well prepared. How many questions did you? I don't get? know why, mate. I don't know why. My Instagram stories dead. Like dead. views wise, do, like like views wise, it used to be like two and a half, three k. Two and a half, three k. Yes, Gen- Mate, I've never following. had that. Yeah, it used to be. I'm talking like uh, 2021, 2022, right? Two and a half, three k, three hundred. Yeah. Three- what yours on? Nine hundred. What? How have you got three times as many people? Uh, right. There's a there's a trick to this, and I'm going to tell you and everyone. Let your Instagram stories go to zero once a week. Oh. And then it boosts you basically. Because last, because I'm not even joking. Last week, at the start of the week, I don't really pay too much attention to it. Like nine hundred, right? And it was yep. like that throughout the entire week. Now, for the past few days, three hundred. But if you're spamming it a lot, or like you're putting regular things up and sharing people's stories, uh, it, okay, it, it so I'm, I'm constantly reposting my clients. Yeah, yeah, it can just end up bombing it. So yeah, Sorry, once a week, let it go dead, and then. Post it, cool. post it, boy. You should uh, be a uh, you should be a IG social coach, mate. Mate, well, I say this, and then the algorithm will flip, and it'll go the other way. Um, right, questions. First one from Kesthetics underscore posing. Recognize that name? 
Oh, yeah, yeah. Sounds familiar. Yeah. <laughs> he said, who would win in a bare knuckle fight between you two? I mean, you do have weight advantage. Wow. Because you're, yeah, you're quite meaty. Um, but I have a heart. I have heart and okay. courage. I have an orange belt in judo. Do you actually? Yeah. Why do I not know this? I don't know. You've not asked me every possible question. You've not asked me if I've got an orange belt in judo, so I've not had to say yes or no to it. I used to go watch my brother play karate when I was fat, and I used to eat a Yorkie at the side of the re- arena. And then they asked me to join, and I said no. 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 So, Yorkie. Yorkie. Yeah. So I'm kind of trained, kind of not. I've observed. Okay. All right. I know every single defense that there is. Okay. But okay. Who would actually win? I th- I do think I would win. Uh, I don't think you would. <laughs> We're just going to have to have a fucking flat out fight, mate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I'm I... from a council estate. Everyone in the comments or when you share it to your stories, say who you think would win <laughs> in a bare knuckle fight between me and Tom. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, when you're, as Josh said, when you're reposting this, just vote who would win. Please. Yes. Like yeah. Josh would win or Tom would win the fight. Thanks. Um, go on, Miata. Um, goat chocolate bar. Well, I mean, I pretty much just answered that. Your key. <laughs> Mate, I think for me, white lion bars. White lion bar. White lion bar. White lion bar. <laughs> white lion bar. No. Okay. So when I was younger, it was Yorkies. Lion bar is good. Have you ever had a lion cereal? I think so, yeah. Did you rate it? like golden brown. I think so. Golden brown. (laughs) Um, No, but best chocolate bar ever. Oh, do you know what, mate? Honestly, I just just like a Twix. Oh, you are. are Twix are elite, mate. Have you ever had like a Twix with like a hot chocolate? You break each end of the Twix off and you're... (laughs) Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, penguins also very good for doing that. Those jokes were amazing. I miss them. What jokes? Oh, the penguin ones. Yeah, penguin. Yeah, Do you remember he used good. to flip it up and he used to have a little joke in there? Oh, what's that? Right, I remember my favourite one. I can't remember. Why aren't there any penguins in England? I don't know. Because they're scared of whales. Oh God! Oh my God! Oh, amazing! <laughs> um, do, do, we've do, do, got do. two questions from someone that I know fancies us because he's you asked know. inappropriate questions before. Is it is it male or female? It's a male. Okay. Thomas dot Narangis. Okay. Yeah. Uh, First question is, can either or both of you do the peck bounce like Terry Crews? Oh, now we're talking. This is the kind of subjects that I want to talk about. Do you know what I mean? You're going to get as a different kind of audience, you, mate. Can you see that? Oh, no, 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 mate. Don't do it. Don't do it. We're giving him what he wants. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Next question. Tom, (laughs) Tom, can you suck your big toe? Um. Yes. Do you want to do it on the pod? Do you, do you want to do it now and like maintain eye contact with the camera? No. Okay. Next question. <laughs> that was <laughs> even the question. That was you. <laughs> that was the. That was me. Yeah, yeah. The uh, question was height and weight. <laughs> <laughs> so, Josh, I, I got a feeling none of these questions are actually from anyone. They're from you. You're trying to you're trying to picture us having a fight. You're trying to picture me sucking my toe, and now you're trying to get me to pet bounce, mate. What is wrong with you? <laughs> I'm a wrong one, mate. That Saturday night, it's just it's ruined me. Um, I also have one from Quase Quasethetics. What's the name of his posting thing? Yeah, yeah, that guy. What what's the what's the name of the thing? The illusion. Jinjutsu. Oh, jin, Jinjutsu. Jinjutsu. That's <laughs> Mr. Jinjutsu, Jinjutsu himself. Who would win in a game of chess between you two? I've never played chess in my entire life. Oh, right. Well, that puts me in advantage because I think I've played it once. 
Oh yeah, you'd win. Did you ever play used to play drafts? Drafts, yeah. Love that game. Do you know my favorite game to play, right? Connect four. Is it? Mate, I love it, right? And I got my godson. God, this is years ago. I got him a Connect Four set to teach him how to lose. Right. And he never beat me at it and literally just gets so angry and so angry. And then one time, like, he, he did beat me and then we've never played it since. It's like it's like the arm wrestling situation again. <laughs> I love that. What, what was... For Christmas, my nephew got... it was It's like 3D Tetris, right? So, like, you stack them up. It's like, on a, it's like on a seesaw kind of thing and you build up, like, the... It was amazing. Like, the simplest toy ever, mate. This Christmas, my whole family was there for about two hours just playing it. No way. I love stuff like that. Where it's just 3D like, Tetris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's what use, I was good. Yeah. Use, my, use my Amazon affiliate code to buy yourself a 3D Tetris. I'm going to try and find the name of it, but yeah, it was good. Um, right, I've got another question. Oh, God. We've got some weird questions today. From Nicola Maxwell. She actually goes to my gym. Things you can say at the gym and also be said in the bedroom. Laughing face. <laughs> So I'm trying to go first. Um, get deeper into loads. it. You are. Get deeper into it. Get deeper into it. Yeah. Shall we go until Full range of motion? Out. Should we go back and forth until we forget? Like until we run out? Yeah. Go on. I thought I had more then. <laughs> Slow it down a little. Again. <laughs> Mate, I'm not going to be able to do this. Um, I've got nothing left. <laughs> I think I've left my chalk in the car. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Um... Oh, I need some. Oh, I need some water. <laughs> you, Tom, you're rubbish. You are rubbish. No, 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 no. Come on, come on. I think. Oh, I've got cramp. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're so much better than me at this, mate. Um, I'm nearly finished. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be two more minutes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I give up. I give okay. up. Oh, okay. fucking hell, that was great, mate. Yeah, well done. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. God, that was quality entertainment. Again, guys, comment down any of your things that you can say in the bedroom and in the gym. I feel like any professional, like anyone else doing a podcast, mate, just would not give in to these weird questions and we're just fully falling into the traps. Yeah. Making an idiot of ourselves. But there we go. <clears throat> Let's get back on track with some men's physique stuff. Ollie Greaves Fitness. What are both of your favourite men's physique poses? I mean, just, I would say, probably, I don't even know, mate. Like, they don't really have names. You've just got your mandatory poses, haven't you? <laughs> like, like, like if, if you think about it, classic physique, how many more poses can you do in that? Oh, yeah. It's like double. Whereas, like, men's physique, it's just like poses, isn't it? What's your favourite? What do you think is your strongest shot? Okay, so like my personal favourite for me. I'm just thinking like, oh yeah, I love like the archer's pose or something like that. Okay, no, so um, rear double bicep, even though it's not men's physique, so rear rear relaxed, I guess. Um, and then... I've got to say, mate... Uh, did, what, what federation, though? Oh, it doesn't matter, Tom. Just pick one. Stop being pedantic. My favourite is a front relaxed. Yeah, front relaxed and rear double bicep. Yeah, I would agree. Um, your turn. Next cue. Um, we've had this one before, but it's a, a very common question. Advice for first time competitors. I'm competing this year. Ooh. My first bit of advice is going to be um, 
I'm going to I'm going to go different compared to what I've probably said previously. Commit to the process. If you've said to yourself, right, I'm going to compete for the first time this year, commit to it. Don't be like, oh, yeah, I'm going to try and get lean. And then if I look good and da, 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 then I'm going to compete. Just you've said that you're going to compete. Enter the show now. See it through. Make it happen. Yeah, I agree. Set your expectations realistically as well. Know exactly what it is that you want to get out of your season. Because realistically, if you're like you're if you're not like one hundred percent in the position, you could be in a much better position to compete, but you just definitely want to compete for the sake of competing, get your feet wet, then fine. But if you're going in there expecting to take British titles and then you walk away from that super disappointed because you didn't even place, then I think you're only you've got yourself to blame for that. So yeah, just set your expectations. Be clear of what good. you want to achieve, what you want to walk away with. Very good. Um, Tom Hermitage, if you could change one thing about the fitness industry, what would it be? Some very good questions. I wish that people were just a bit more like chilled out. Okay, I like that. A bit more open. It's very like... Well, I mean, I say the fitness industry, it's just social media as a whole. Like the fitness industry, the window into it is the social media. So it's like, it's always filtered. If you know what I mean? Yeah. That was was going to be like my caveat. The fitness industry and social media as a whole, I wish it was just more honest. Yeah. Like I can't imagine, I can't tell you the amount of times that I've seen someone post something talking about something to do with their training or their life in general. And it's just so far from the truth. Yeah. But that bullshit, it's, there's a saying, it's bullshit baffles brains and people believe it. So like you fill someone's brain with your bullshit and people like end up getting like, oh my God, this person's amazing. Well, yeah, especially if that person's like young and impressionable and maybe not happy with their own lives as well. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't necessarily, if they're, yeah, they're young and they're still like figuring out how they should be living their life and they're looking up to these people for inspiration it's like everything needs to be perfect all the time and it's like nah it's not it's not so i could come in and say that oh i am training today because i trained so hard and i'm i don't have days off it's like nah i don't want to go gym today fuck it (laughs) yeah Yeah. but there will be some people out there that will lie and be like yeah i've not missed a session in however long i can't remember the last time i haven't trained (sighs) I remember someone saying that they did a Instagram post saying, oh, yeah, I've done a thousand days. So it might have even been longer than that, tracking on my fitness pal. But I remember looking at it thinking, this guy lost his phone for like two weeks earlier on in the year. <sighs> so he definitely didn't track anything when he didn't have a phone. Yeah, It's just the chatting shit. It's like, come on, just be honest. Yeah, yeah. Do you know why, do you know why I was late to this podcast? Because you were eating food. Because I was eating food and tracking all my food for the day because I hadn't done it. <laughs> I just ate. Like, I just ate. And I was like, yeah, that's fine. I tracked it all. And I was like, Whew. just just in. I'm just in, mate. Do you want to know a secret? You haven't tracked. I think I've tracked three days since the end of prep. Fair play. Just intuitive eating? No, just eating the same things every day. There and we go. That's that. Do you have the exact same meals? Yeah, I have bagels for breakfast, then oats. Well, I have the same meals, but I could have them in any order. Yeah. So bagels, oats, cereal, whatever Annabella cooks, which generally is chicken and a pack of rice, some variation of. But it's like muscle memory, mate. It's just like driving a car. You don't forget, do you? It's like, yeah. well, you just you just eat what you eat and that's it. <clears throat> I'm like, I've been doing this now 10 years. So easy work. Do you um for your, your dinner and evening? Is it quite flexible? Like you just have kind of whatever Annabella cooks. Anna, Annabella's like she's good at cooking healthy stuff. Like mm. tonight she's doing a thing we call we call it Annabella's bowls, where she'll just get a bowl, bag of rice, portion of chicken, and then like just veg, kimchi, whatever. It's generally it's really really good. I was looking for kimchi today and I couldn't find any. Oof, kimchi, kimchi. So it's um fermented cabbage, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. With yeah. Carrots and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, so pickles in there. Gherkins. I don't think I've ever had it. You've never had it? No. But it's oh. so good for your gut health. 
So good, mate. So good for digestion. Yeah. Do you know what else is good for digestion? Sauerkraut. Pickle. Another sauerkraut, which is just so sauerkraut is pickled cabbage on its own. And yeah. then, yeah, but gherkins. Yeah. Love gherkins. I think it's just anything that's been pickled or fermented in. Yeah, yeah. Do you have any weird, weird cravings on prep? Mine was gherkins. Gherkins. Uh... Smashing like a jar a day. Re- yeah, well. What? I, f- I think we've just realised what, what, where it all went wrong, mate. <laughs> nah. Okay, I wasn't. Okay, so do you, know, do you know when you say like social media people lie? I didn't smash a jar a day. That was a lie. No, no, no. No, you literally meant you smashed a jar every day. You woke up, grabbed a jar, and boof. Oh, okay, yeah. There we go. <laughs> that's what happened. Know. I'd have like half a jar of thingy. Pro- oh, that's why I was so blown up with water, mate. It was just, I just turned it into a pickle. I was in a bit of pickle. It's pickle, pickle Tom. Pickle Tom. <laughs> oh my God, he's Pickle Tom. <laughs> yeah, just a bit of a pickle, mate. Creep. Um, <laughs> Jasper Jasper B. Dot fit. I'm not going to read your question out. I'm not going to read your discount question, code. Either. What? I'm not going to re- don't read his question. No, no, I'm not. I didn't use our discount code. I'm falling Trade. out with you, mate. And Trade. do you know to make it worse for me, Tom? He used your discount code on Elite Subs, not mine. Can you read his question, please? <laughs> How many pints of Guinness should be in my peaking protocol for show day? At least. At least six. That's that's a very you know middle of the road number. I'd like I'd, I'd trial run it, mate. So you could you could bounce <laughs> around six to ten pints, um, and I recommend doing a linear load. So one pint, two, <laughs> three, and then maybe even holding at three or push for a fourth. It's it's dependent on uh, how your body responds. And like realistically, if you've got like. If you're just not ready for show, like if you're just not conditioned, I would say at least twelve, because like it's just going to dehydrate you more. Do you know as well? One thing with the the pints water, protocol, right? you just go on stage with so much confidence because you're absolutely blasted out your brains. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> guys, you... we're joking. Yeah. We're joking. Just chill. Have you oh, have you ever seen someone prep? And then, like, they're just not ready, and they're just like, "Yeah, wait for the peak." It's just, it's just water, bro. <laughs> and uh, well, I actually had someone compete, and it not, it not adhered to the plan. This is a couple of years ago, and he was like, "Oh, we'll be able to rescue it on peak week." He was like, "Wow, what are you gonna do? Start following the frigging plan?" <laughs> Don't worry yeah, like that, bro. <laughs> Meant to be lean before then. Did you let them go on stage? Well, yeah, because it was like short notice and he'd paid for everything i think look it was just one of them who were going to compete whether he'd bloody prepped or not fair enough he knows who he is as well because he listens he listens to these things does he yeah yeah well he doesn't deserve a shout out if if this whoever this is who is is struck a chord with and you resonate with it next time sort your shit out yeah you derek (laughs) (laughs) right my favorite consumer of our content has asked the question is this john 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 free love john you can come on the podcast whenever you want mate you're a guy my guy. guy john free love has asked a very wholesome question what qualities do you value about each other in bodybuilding and as individuals in each other what do you like about me tom and i'll tell you what i like about you i like how you are I I feel like you're someone that thinks things through quite deeply you you reflect on things very well like when you ask you something you've always got like a very well thought out answer do you think so yes may I always think that I I just sound stupid half the time no 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 like I am like someone who's just like do 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 you know what I mean like but whereas you like usually, usually like I ask you something and it's like oh He's actually thought about this before. So like you I like that you think about things and it's things are thought out, things are planned. Aww. Uh my favorite thing about you, my favorite quality about you, Tom, it's both as a bodybuilder and as an individual. You okay. are just very, very, very determined. Like 
I'm going to be completely honest with you. There's a lot of things that don't go for you, but you're determined as fuck to make them things that will go for you. Right. Okay. I like that. Yeah. Like, you know, there can't be many successful online cl- online coaches that are from Plymouth, but you are determined to make it happen. The, there's like a handful. There's like, there's Martin Winston. Oh, is that that? He, he doesn't count, mate. He doesn't enhance people. Oh, Next. yeah, yeah. He doesn't count. He doesn't count. Off the top of my head, I can think of Jake Braley. There's Jake and there's Reese. And he lives in Rotherham. Got Reese Kiffin. Have you had a Reese Kiffin? Oh, yeah, yeah, Reese. Yeah, Completely yeah. against Reese. Yeah. And that's that's it, really. That's it. That's it. Yeah, no. That's cool. I like that, mate. Yeah. yeah. Well, if you want yeah. something, you got to get it. It's as simple yeah. as that. No one's going to give it for you. I'd say you're like, you're, the level of determination that you've got, especially with competing, it does remind me that I've got to keep going at that level of determination because there are more people like you trying to come for me no like when i when i'm when i'm on your tail like just behind i'll take the foot off the gas a little bit right oh thank god thank god it saved me you can sleep it now you might get better sleep tonight now that could have, that could have been bad yeah that could have been bad no but i my favorite thing about you as a bodybuilder is um i guess like just paving the way for how not only to compose yourself as a bodybuilder, I guess it ties in. Basically, mate, you just inspire me a little bit. Oh, Tom. As in like Tom. how you how you carry yourself, how you're, you know, documenting your journey and giving again like a realistic view. Like you're not like an you're top of your game, but you're also not like the optimal bodybuilder. It's like, oh, you can enjoy yourself and you can still exceed and do very, very well competitively. That's what I write about you. Thank you, mate. Thank you. Should we just get married? No, I am. I am. It's off. I'm promising myself to, to another. I'm very sorry, but you know, spooning, we can do that. Do you know, do you know what my least favorite thing about you is? Geography. (laughs) Geography. The fact that I'm from Rotherham. Go on, tell me. Yes. Yes. Um, You're too nice. Oh. You bottled it then. You were going to say something and you bottled it. (laughs) No. (laughs) You're ugly. God. Uh, Have you got any more questions? Yes. Um, When are your next shows? October or November 2025. I don't even know when mine are. But I don't, they haven't released the calendars. It's going to be... What's the first WMBF Pro Qualifier of the year? Uh, it's generally... Uh, Is it France? Italy, Netherlands, France? Spain, <clears throat> UK, Germany. There's going to be a lot. That's what I mean. It's like whatever one of those crops up first, that is the one. Are you going to compete with the UK and the FBA again? I probably will, yes. But it depends on how the calendars run. Yeah. So yeah. basically, like my my what what's my goal? What's my priority? Is WMBF Pro Card? Yeah. All right. So it just depends, really, because I do I absolutely love the WMBF, and I know I can do well there as well. So it just depends on how the calendar sits. You know, yeah. there's obviously going to be traveling a lot as well. Um, me and you're going to do the world tour. So coming soon. Dubai? Dubai? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to do a meet-up in Dubai. <laughs> By the time, yeah, there'll be like uh, two people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it'll be you and me and Sam. Yeah. But now, it's uh, just whatever qualifies first, pretty much. That's going to be my yeah. first show. Sweet. Um, like, you know, this year, because the UK and the FBA has changed how they've done it, I've not got a lot of people competing with the UK and the FBA. And I don't want that to look as though that I'm doing that because... I'm a WMBF pro. Mm. I'm doing that because it clashes with like peaking protocols for later shows. Yeah. You've got UK, the FBA and WMBF on consecutive weeks. And it's like, what's, what's the aim? Are you wanting to win your pro card? Are you wanting to push for like a British title or what? Mm. There's, well, the, you've got the, you've got the WM, um, UK, the FBA 
first timers, the NBW. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I've got I've got some doing that. And then you've got the WMBF novice, which is two weeks, three weeks. Yeah, uh, might be three, three weeks. Two two weeks, and then you've got PCA. So yeah, I've got some guys doing the uh, MBW, and then I've got some guys doing the WMBF. Have you got anyone doing PCA? Natural. Yeah. How far is that? How how? What day is that one after the? I think it's it's either a week or two weeks after the WMBF. Well, they didn't know they were going to do it, but they are now. <laughs> yeah, I've got I've got people like my group of people that are competing at the start of the season. They're all doing them three. Yeah, so mine are as well, basically. Yeah. So oh, um, really? yes, probably. I Have you got any mind. front runners in your mind already? Yes. Yes, but I'm not. I'm not saying anything. Mate. Yeah, yeah, not, yeah, yeah. I'm not saying anything. I was trying to bait you, but. Um, so I was thinking this the other day, I wanted to like do a couple of posts on Instagram, but I don't want to put any pressure on them. Yeah. I don't want them to feel as though there's any pressure on them at all. Mm. I think pressure is good though, man. Yeah, I know. I've just it seen it. I've just seen it a few as times. As pressuring them behind the scenes. That's all they need. Like the pressure of their coach versus the pressure of like, you know, 9,000 people that follow you is a bit different, isn't it? You know? Yeah. 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 <clears throat> First, you know, some people generally do like crumble under that pressure. Yeah, you know, I've mate, I've seen it so many times. Like whether it's you know people that I know that have competed or competing, yeah, or my own clients where they feel as though that there's the external pressure is greater than what it what it actually is. It can, yeah. it can really do weird things to you. I do. Do you know what? I don't. I don't feel. Do you feel pressure from the people that follow you when you compete? It, I don't. I can hand on heart say I don't feel any pressure from those that follow me. Cause I don't know if it's because I haven't won as much as you, and like that expectation, the expectation is in there. It's like almost for me, it's like, you know. Whereas people yeah. like probably expect you to win. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you what I think people expect me to do, right? And I'm not speaking for anyone that watches this podcast or listens to it or even watches my YouTube videos because they're different. I ex I be- truly do believe that there's a lot of people that follow me that are expecting me to fuck up. Really? Yeah, yeah. Why do you think that? I don't know. I think it's just a... Uh... Do you know, like, when, when you're from the same place as someone else and, like, they're doing one thing and you're doing another, mm. I think there's a lot of jealousy in the world and people are almost like, oh, yeah, oh, well, I'll get beat eventually or... It, like people right. see that he's shit eventually because I don't know do you feel that's, like that's, that's more like uh, online or like actual like local kind of like gyms and stuff like that yeah yeah I think I think I think both I think you mm. know um, online you've got everyone that I've competed against in the past and like people that I've beat that won't be happy that I've beat them I'm sure they'll be like looking going fucking hell I hope he gets beat or yeah yeah I remember when you beat me and I was like little fucker i remember when we were like I, we were backstage and obviously we'd spoken briefly online right we'd like t- and like you you i was just like this guy is the most sarcastic guy ever <laughs> like backstage like we had like a brief chat i remember when like it was like signed like registering and stuff like that and you were there with jake jake braley because he was competing as well um i was there with ben um uh, my friend ben and um yeah, I just remember seeing you there and I was like, there he is. I was like, he's good, he is. Th- like, there he is. This is going to be tough. <laughs> and then uh, obviously we competed. And when you beat me, I was just like, fuck it now. I was like, I didn't I didn't care. I was like, I was buzzing. I was like, to be stood there, like you and Chris. If you, like, sick. Have you ever Googled yourself? <laughs> yeah. I I'm Googled. On, uh, I'm te- technically, mate, I'm actually, I've achieved more than you in like the bodybuilding world. Because I'm on the Reddit Natty or Not forums. Oh, mate. Yep. Oh. Have you got one oh, of them? No. No, because everyone knows that I'm Natty. Everyone looks at me and goes, you right now. definitely Natty. Mate, the uh, the comments on my Natty and Not are so funny. So, really? so funny. Like, the fact that people have the time to screen go back years and years and years on my Instagram, screenshot photos, compare my hairline oh, no. from prep to years ago. And they're all like, his hairline has receded really bad. <laughs> I have like zero hairline recession. 
But um, yeah, I've got a night not for him. I've made it. Good. Can you do one for me? Under the what? What do you want my? Uh, what do you want my alter ego to be called? Not so natty. Uh, Sixty nine. Erdinger. Oh yes. Erdinger BB. Erdinger Erdinger Sixty nine. Yeah. Yeah. There we Anything. go. Anything. Anything. Um. What we're we gonna say? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So if you Google Tom Stockton, um. I just wanted to see what 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 comes up. You're on the UK the FBA website for coming third at that show, and I was like, I, I looked at it. I thought, bloody hell! Like Chris looked good. Chris looked really good, but the amount of progress that we've made since then is is mad. Yeah. Are you look at you look if you if you Google you now, there's you from the uh, summer shred, and it looks fucking gnarly. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that this is going to be really good on the audio. Um, I don't care. Tom can edit it. <laughs> I can. What's Jeez. this old photo of you? 24-year-old men's physique champion, Josh Crogan. 24-year-old men's physique champion, Josh Crogan. On Facebook, what? It looks like you've been shared to some weird page. I probably have. What am I seeing here? I'm going to have to... Pain with gain. Pain You've been game. Oo- he's oozes sex and beauty. Very nice muscle definition, mate. All right, yeah, you, there's some weird stuff on you, mate. Don't no you way. Anymore. Yep. Right, Whoa. what we're going to have to do in the future for this podcast is somehow figure out how to screen record because I want to start showing stuff because that would be yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That would be good. We'll sit out. Um, have you got any more questions in your questions box? <laughs> none, none that aren't just weird, mate. So I think we'll probably leave it there for that. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, what have you? you got planned this week? Um, this week, tomorrow, I've got client calls. Uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday will be check-ins. Um, that's pretty much it. I've got to make a load of content tomorrow as well. I literally just did some shooting in a gym for some more content, so I'm waiting for that to land. And just coaching, mate, just coaching and programming. It's like that time of the year now where people have got started like at the first part of the year coming out like all christmas and stuff like that and i'm getting a few people into like new training phases now to get stuck into for the year um so i'm just currently working through that at the moment what about you um this week i am going to be organizing or this week i'm going to try and do it tomorrow i'm going to be trying to organize a my first client meetup yes um, I've been inspired by you and also Mr. Kelly's recent client meetups. And I think it'd be something that I would, you know, I think it'd go down really well. Um, you nervous about it though? Yeah, really nervous. A bit of imposter syndrome. I may, I've wanted to do it for ages, but my worry is that people are just going to go, no, Josh, it's either too far or I don't want to be part of it. So mate, I, I've, yeah, had, I, mate, I've had some people travel like six, six hours. Yeah. Yeah. It's unreal, mate. <clears throat> honestly, like people will come. You know, people will come, especially if they've worked for you long enough. You know, yeah. like, you're a fucking good coach. People will come to it, man. Do it. So there's so many people that I've like, and this sounds bad, but I've worked with them for years and I've not met them in person. Yeah, same. And it's hard to, you know, it's hard to like when obviously everyone's got their own stuff going on. It's hard to navigate, like it's hard to arrange stuff like that. Yeah. When are you thinking about doing it? Just do it, like give enough advance. Give the enough weekend advance. before the Arnold's. Okay. So yeah, I'll let you know, Tom, when it is, and if you want to come down, go for it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and get Tam to come and deliver some uh, posing, and obviously get Sam there for the old videography content. Yep. I'm there, mate. Say no more, because you came to mind, didn't you? No. <laughs> you did not. <laughs> I was there in spirit. I was on holiday. Yeah, yeah, Probably. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I said, I even said to Sam, I was like, yeah, Josh is supposed to be here. <laughs> but no. Oh, no, well, good, mate. Honestly, you'll, uh, you'll, you'll love it, and you'll walk away from that feeling amazing. Oh. Right, okay, I'm going to do it. Next time we have the thing, I'm going to tell you where it is, what day. You're the man that was like, we're starting this podcast, you have no question about yeah. it, like, we are doing it. So yeah. don't think do. I, I wish it. I had that tattooed to my arm. Do it. Get yeah. it. Let's get matching tattoos, oh my God. You don't have any tattoos. No, I'm perfect. Let's break you in. I'm virgin, untouched. Right, right well, let's... Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. When we next compete against each other... 
right? Oh, no. The loser has to get a tattoo. Fine. Tom, you're not going to beat me. Oh, mate, do not underestimate me. All right. What is, what is the tattoo? What does it have to be, do you reckon? I didn't win. No, nah, I think it, I think it should be like Tom beat me or Josh beat me. All right, okay. Yeah. The location? Or the date? What do you mean? The date of the show, like in Roman numerals, and then Tom beat me. Oh, sorry, Josh beat me. Yeah, okay, that's fine. We'll do that. Okay. And we'll, then we can do that quite small. I reckon lower back, like tramp stamp. No, no. I'm, I'm never going to win a show again. <laughs> Just zoom in on like the professional shots. Josh beat me. <laughs> Yeah, winning a, win a world title. Yeah, but Josh beat me. <laughs> See it on my low bag. I'll be like showing people the photo of you like winning like your third world title, right? And I'll just be like, yeah, but look at this, right? <laughs> I beat him then. I beat him then. <laughs> Class. Class. <laughs> nah, right. well, we're doing that, mate. Whoever loses gets a tattoo. I've already yeah, got this. I don't mind. I don't mind. But yeah, anyway, thank you very much for listening, people. Very random podcast. I'm sure you enjoyed it as much as we did. I hope you did. Um, if you want to grab the cleanest garments in the game, all in bodybuilding.com. Next launch, end of Feb, BSB15. What's, what's, the, what's the other rubbish code that's on there that they shouldn't use? There isn't. There, there isn't. isn't it's just BSB15. Yeah, BSB15. And that's it. And don't be mistaken, if you see anything that's like Josh related, it's nothing to do with me. I'm definitely BSB15. I understand the confusion from the last launch. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, just remember everyone. Yeah, it's not anything to do with Josh. It's just BSB15. That's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> right peace out catch you in a bit bye